In this video, we will see how to set up Python for Visual Studio Code. So to do so, first you have to download Python. So if you have already set up Python, then you don't have to do this uh, step. But if you don't have, uh, then you can download uh, Python from this uh, URL. So I'll share this URL in the description. So once you have this installer downloaded .exe, you can double click on it and it will start the installation part for Python. And then uh, make sure to check this button this is very important step if you don't do it then python might not work for you so make sure to check this button after this you can just click on install now and everything should be good you can just click on next next and python would be installed in your system so once python is installed you can go ahead and download vs code so download for windows just click on windows i'll give this link in the description to download vs code then you can install it from this url and then double click on this exe file yeah, just accept the agreement and click on next. Uh, you can leave it or you can change the location from here. Click on next. Click on next. Create a desktop icon if you want and then click on next and then install. So this will install VS Code to your system. Now, once VS Code is installed, you can click on this launch VS Code uh, from here itself. And see, once you click on finish, it will launch. Otherwise, uh, as we had clicked on uh, desktop icon, so you should see VS Code icon on your desktop now as well. So click on finish and it should launch VS Code. So this is how it should look uh, once you launch it. And then what you can do is you can, you know, choose what you want. There are so many options if you ha already have any of your code existing. You can do like this. You can choose light or dark mode. I, I like the dark mode, so I'll leave it to that. And then you can create a new file. So you can create a new file or you can create new project, anything you want. So let's say print. And then I'll say save it. And you can save it on your desktop or anywhere you want. I will save it on my desktop so that it would be easier. And since it is a Python file, we want to name it .py. So let's say test.py and save it. So we have our Python code ready. Uh, now, you, if you see, let's, let's increase the width so that we can see it properly. Now we have our Python file ready. Now we want to run it, right? So how do you run it? Normally we run it using our terminal. So we can click on this new terminal and it will open this window over here at the bottom so we have this terminal we have debug console we have output we have problems everything right so we can go to our folder where we have this file set up we have it in our desktop so you have to go to cd and then desktop right and then you can run python test.py and this should show our result. But what we want to do, we don't want to write these this much code every time we want to run our code, right? We don't want to write this much of command. What we want is we want to go to our extensions and search for Python. So this is showing in the most popular extension as well. So you can select from here and then install. So there are two extensions we will install to help us run our code in Python. And the other extension we want to download is Code Runner because with the help of that code runner you would be able to run any type of so you can install as soon as we install you see we have this run button over here so we can go to our test.py and click on this run button and it will run our code so this is as simple as that you just need two extension python extension and then code runner extension and you can write your python code in vs code and you can write any code, C, C++, Java, as you see over here, everything you can write and run it using this tiny button. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.